Hey guys, welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School and today I will show you how you can make this portfolio slide animation in just PowerPoint. This is really simple but it can be helpful for you. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here first we have to change the background color of our slide so go to design, click on format background and from here I'll pick this light grey color. Then close it, go to home. Pick a rounded corner rectangle, holding the Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag it over here. Then holding the Shift key from your keyboard, rotate it. Go to Format, click on Shape Fill and change the color. From Shape Outline, select No Outline and from Shape Effect, select the Center Shadow. After adding the shadow, bring it to here, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate Place it right beside it and press Ctrl D few times more. Now we have to select only these four and press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring them to here and then select the first one, go to format from shape fill, change the color, do the same for this second one, do the same for this third one and for the last one. Now to add some icons or picture, go to insert, click on picture and from here I'll pick these 5 icons. I have downloaded all the icons from flaticon.com so I'll give the link in the video description. Here I'm just placing all the icons one by one on these shapes. After that we have to pick a text box, drag it over here. Add some text, I'm typing client, selecting all the text, change the font to TWCENMT, increase the font size to 24 point. Make it center, bold and change the font color to white. Then make a copy of this text box. Selecting all the text, I'm decreasing the font size to 14 point and adding some explanation text. Now place this text box in the middle holding the control button. Select this two and press control G to group. Place it in the middle of this shape. Press control D to duplicate. Place it here and press control D two times more. And now what we need to do we have to select these elements one by one and press ctrl G to group. Do the same for this rest of these elements. Here you can see that I'm just selecting the elements of a block and pressing ctrl G to make them a group. After doing so, let's get back to our previous slide and from here I'll just copy this upper portion by pressing ctrl C and paste it here by pressing ctrl V. Now we have to add the animation. So first go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Now to add the first animation, select this element. From add animation, select float in. From effect options, select float down. Set start on click and duration 0 0.50 second. Now for the second element, from add animation, select float in again. From effect options, select float down. Set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second. After that we have to select this colorful element. Then from add animation, select float in. Set start after previous and duration 0 0.50 second. Now select the third one. From add animation, select float in. From effect options, select float down. Set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second. Select this second colorful element from add animation, select float in, set start after previous and duration 0 0.50 second. Here you can see that for the upper element, I am setting float in animation, changing the effect to down, setting start after previous duration 0 0.50 second. And for the lower colorful element, I am setting the float in animation, but for this one, I am not changing the effect, just set start after previous and duration 0 0.50 second. Now for the last upper element, select float in again, change the effect to down, set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second. And for this last colorful element, set float in, set start after previous and duration 0 0.50 second. And here we are done, our animation is ready. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I've given the download link in the video description. 
If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.